Hey guys, here we're and welcome back to another Mindflow tutorial. In this episode, we're going to be taking chat logs from in-game and converting them over to chat logs in the console. Now, this can be a very quick episode. Uh, I'm just going to go through some changes. It's not an incredible change, but it's a change that I thought I'd separate from the rest. Um, so you guys can really take it step by step. As always, code down below. Uh, join my Discord down below. Join Mindflow Discord if you need help with Mindflow specific stuff down below. And that's about it. Anyways, this is what we left last episode off with, and this is what we're starting this episode with, or finishing this episode with, I suppose. I can say I added some comments for clarity's sake. Um, some might say they're redundant, some might say they're not. It is what it is. The main change that I added, uh, or there's two. One, I commented out so it doesn't disconnect automatically now. Uh, just for now. Um, but up here, I've got this chat logger. So what happens is, uh, here, we can shrink these so that you don't have to look at them. Here, when we receive a chat message, did we have that before here? We did, did we? No, we didn't. This entire thing is new, okay. So we have a new event for the bot. So on chat event, it starts an async uh, function. So the chat event it returns two things, a username and JSON message. We're taking both of them and it puts it right through our, our logger. And what our logger does is it's just going to log it using some coloring on the name tag. And then it's going to return the message. Now, this is very simple. Uh, if you have any questions about this, comment down below or ask them in Discord. I'm just going to go ahead and straight into it. I'll show you guys what happens. And then we're going to end the episode. It's a very short episode. I'm sorry. All right, we've got the port number plugged in. We're going to go ahead and open up a terminal. And then we're going to run it using node chat dash bot dot mjs. Run it. And you're going to see in the client, the bot's going to log in. Or actually, three bots are going to log in because I've got it set to three right now. If you remember episode five where we set up multi bots. And now uh, the first difference is that, of course, they'll automatically disconnect. The second difference is that now when we type in chat, so let's say I type um, Xerox Cope, really good emote in my Discord. Run that. You can see in the console, I returned the bot that heard it, uh, the player that sent the message, in this case, I'm on my Xerxes 6 c account, and then what the message I actually sent. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today, folks. Once again, if you have any comments or questions, put them down below. Uh, code is down below. Forget you check out the GitHub link, join the Discord. Uh, it is what it is. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.